This car needs no introduction. Only the Porsche 911 Turbo looks like this. Its unmistakable rear wing symbolizing dynamic handling from aerodynamics. As of now, from adaptive aerodynamics. Time to experience the new 911 Turbo. Porsche Active Aerodynamics gets noticed right away by even greater practicality in everyday use. The withdrawn front spoiler clears slopes of up to 10 degrees, a third more than on the previous model. On underground car park ramps, that means no more touching the ground. Adaptive aerodynamics extends beyond the limits of any conventional sports car, even one with the airflow as well optimized as on a Porsche 911 Turbo. More than on any other vehicle, the aim was to make the range between efficiency and circuit performance as wide as possible. The 911 Turbo is able to repeatedly adapt its aerodynamic shape to the current situation and driver preference. Passing the 120 km per hour mark for the first time, Porsche Active Aerodynamics now switches automatically to the speed setting. The active front spoiler partially extends. Only the outer sections are lowered. Less air resistance for less fuel consumption. Simultaneously, the active rear wing rises 25 millimeters. The rear wing concept produces its effect. Downforce with efficiency. The airflow pattern shows why the new 911 Turbo is again the most efficient of all super sports cars. Its sophisticated cooling system accounts for just 4% of the total air resistance. The charge air cooler's characteristic inlet is ideally positioned within the side airflow. It passes the heat exchanger only just ahead of the outlet and thus provides optimum cooling. Pit stop, racetrack, the acid test for any Porsche. A gentle press on the performance button. For the driver, time for the great entry into the world of the super sports cars with aerodynamic downforce. The 911 extends its claws. Front spoiler and rear wing shift to maximum downward pressure. The fun can begin. Full throttle. The air flowing by presses the 911 turbo ever more firmly onto the track. At top speed, the aerodynamic downforce reaches a total of 150 kilograms. Behind the fully extended front spoiler, the underpressure sucks the nose down. At the back, the split wing extended 75 millimeters and angled at 7 degrees presses down on the rear axle. Never before has the 911 been so dynamic. nor so sure-footed. Thanks to highly effective brake cooling. Up front, diffuser and brake air spoiler direct the airflow to where it's needed. At the rear, a new air conduit system additionally sweeps cool air onto the brake discs and brake caliper. Because more downforce enables better braking. Another advantage of active aerodynamics. Measured, it's two seconds better. That's the extra speed that active aerodynamics gives the new 911 Turbo on the Nürburgring.